Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to introduce you guys real quick to my new truck, number 52. It's a uh, 2020 Mack Granite. It's a tri-axle. And uh, let me go ahead and swing the uh, phone around here and let you guys check it out. It's got the M7 or MP7, I guess it's called, engine. And uh, it's got the M drive transmission. It does have the gold bulldog. Nice triaxle. There you go. Twenty two thousand seven hundred and sixty three miles when I got this truck it had uh, 20,000 on it so I've been driving it for a few uh, a few weeks and I love it I love the Mac I love the triaxle and um, the reason why I went with the triaxle is because I can haul more weight in South Carolina than we can in a tandem so with a tandem truck if we cross the state line with 68 or 64,000 pounds that we can haul here in Georgia, we're illegal. You can only haul 58,000 pounds in South Carolina, I believe. I think it's 58. So you lose um, quite a few thousands of pounds. And for a client, they're not gonna like that. They want every every ounce they can get. So they're not gonna go with you if you can't haul you know, the full amount. If you have a triaxle, you can haul 68,000 in South Carolina. So 68,000 pounds with the triaxle in South Carolina, 58,000 pounds with the tandem. So we got all these triaxles in uh, so we can work in South Carolina as well. So if it's raining in Georgia, but we got work in South Carolina and it's not raining up there, I can work. If we don't have work in South Carolina and we're only working in Georgia because we only have work in Georgia, say I can work. So it opens the market up to me to be able to keep working. So that's why I went with this beautiful triaxle. Uh, I really like it. It is much longer um, and it's a little bit slower because of the M drive transmission. Uh, but it's, a lot of people don't like it. You gotta get used to it. And what I'll do is I will show you guys uh, real quick how the M drive transmission works. And one thing I really like about my Mac is the steering wheel controls for cruise control and uh, the stereo controls on the right side. So I really never have to take my hands off the steering wheel. Really nice. Uh, everything is wrapped around right here in reach. I don't have to sit there and stretch uh, or pull my seatbelt loose to grab anything. Everything is all right here. I can easily reach. Uh, super nice, super easy. Power windows, power door locks. I got my CB. It's really nice, it's really comfortable. It's got nice seats um, and it's a triaxle. So it opens up the market for me to be able to work some more. Which reminds me, I need to do some asphalting. Uh, we're doing some asphalt at the port. I can't send a drone up or anything like that. I can't really video what we're doing because we're on the port and Georgia Ports Authority does not allow video or camera devices to be running around. So uh, I'll be back in a little bit. We'll go over the transmission and uh, take it from there. Okay, so we'll take a quick second and talk about this M drive transmission. As you see right here, it says M drive. So a lot of people don't like this transmission because it's got like solenoids going on down there and the engine down speeds and um, you lose a lot of power, especially when you're in the dirt. All right. If you're just driving a truck and every day driving, you know, going from point A to point B on the hardball, then you can just leave it on economy. Um, you can mess with, you know, power and you can mess with uh, performance. Performance and economy, I don't really see much of a difference. Power 
it keeps the RPMs up higher and it shifts less gears. It doesn't skip gears. Well, I should say it, sh it, it shifts more gears. If you're on economy or performance, it'll, sh it'll skip gears, literally. It'll take off in third gear. It'll go third gear, fifth gear, seventh gear, ninth gear, 10, 11, 12. And when it does that, it'll go from like 1800 RPM and drop all the way down to like 1200 RPM and then kind of lug a little bit and get going. If you're heavy or if you're climbing hills, that's bad. You don't really want it to do that. You want to keep your RPMs up and maybe you want to grab some more gears in between, not skip third to fifth. Maybe you want to go third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, you know? So that's where you have your different, your different modes, all right? Um, using the mode button right here changes whether you're going from economy, and that's right here, it shows you economy um, and then when you hit the mode button, now you're on performance. And if you hit it again, you'll be on power plus. P plus, I assume, is power plus. That's going to make it where it starts off, you're in second. It's going to go from second to third to fourth to fifth, and it's going to keep the RPMs up. By the way, that's what we're doing today. Asphalt. That's H1, hood hauling. Good guy. What's up, buddy? I call him Swine Flu because his truck is H1, so he's H1N1. So when you're on the Power Plus like it's on now, like I said, it, it shifts more gears and keeps the RPMs up. If you take it off, sorry about my crushed nail, and go back to economy or performance, it'll skip gears. Um, so you gotta know that difference. So if you're loaded and you're taking off, you don't wanna be necessarily in economy um, or in performance, you want to be in the power plus. So that way the truck will get moving, get out of its own way. That's the part that people don't like. I'm going to drop my load of asphalt real quick and then I'll be back and I'm going to talk to you about the manual uh, side of this transmission. Okay, so another option that we have uh, with this transmission is manual mode. And to operate in manual mode, you simply choose M. And what will happen is it'll start flashing the gear. Well, I don't think I can do it if my, yeah, I have the parking brake on. So that'll start flashing the gear and it's gonna stay in that gear the entire time. So you can move it down to first gear or up to second. And hitting your plus and minus right here, you can choose which gear you're gonna start off in and then you can shift the gears as needed. The good thing about that is if you're hitting dirt or something like that and you got a load and you hit M and you choose the gear that you want, you keep it locked in that gear to power through. Um, that's where a lot of people get screwed up is they're using the, the automatic transmission and the tr automatic transmission isn't going to get you through soft dirt and stuff like that. It's just, it's going to bog down and then it's going to stall the engine out exactly the same way as you know, not riding the clutch properly, you're gonna stall it out. Uh, so manual, hit the M, choose the gear that you wanna be in, probably second gear, and then keep the RPMs up and that'll get you through the dirt. No line, no weight. Looks like I'm next up to the paver. Well, it looks like the paver, looks like they might be uh, taking a few minute lunch break or something. So I'll go ahead and back up and get situated over here. This thing has such a long wheelbase. to just get situated get close you know but I'm not gonna back all the way up to the machine until they tell me to stay about 10 feet off the machine anyway so welcome to my new Mac I just wanted to do a quick video and uh, just explain it to you but I also have a more comprehensive video recorded on my action cam uh, and it was back here on the mountain and everything so I'll go ahead and do some edits with that as well coming up here soon and put up a good video where we're actually driving through the dirt and stuff 
and I'm showing you uh, how to operate this transmission. So, but uh, thank you guys very much, and uh, hit that subscribe button, and like the video, please leave a comment below. There'll be many more coming. A lot of my content is gonna come from your questions or your comments, and um, I will be doing more washing videos, and I'm trying to invite some friends over with their trucks to uh, do some shine work for them, and just do some videos, teach you guys how to shine up some trucks, and uh, you know, a little bit of their knowledge, a little bit of my knowledge, and we put together some videos and show you guys how to do it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you very much and goodbye.